Well, hey everybody. Um, so I just worked in one room, believe it or not. I mean, there was a couple other issues that I did, but um, just kind of going over what 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 I did. So before, I think I probably did like just a couple of the the seams with with uh, the drywall stuff, the mud, and this actually has got the I believe the final coat. Maybe and there's a couple areas I'll have to redo a little bit, but I've at least got the bay windows done as well. And I decided that I didn't like the panel look, so I went ahead and got all the paneling. Uh, so when we paint this, when I paint this, you won't see actually these little seams right here. So all that will be gone. So it'll look like sheetrock, I guess, uh, when I get it all painted. And um, I did get all the vents painted and I got all those hung. I got a ceiling fan hung in the spare bedroom and also got um, the spare bedroom all done as well. And I didn't work on the, when I initially tore out everything, I didn't really do anything in this closet. This is in the master bedroom, so this is done. And started looking for shelving today <coughs> and <laughs> there's no shelving. Uh, so there's a shortage, I guess. So, um, and I also, if you recall, everybody, there was this water heater. So that's all covered up, but you know, they can take it out with their screws actually. So just a couple of the screws. I'll paint this, whatever we paint it, but at least that looks a lot better. And then when we bring in the wood floors, I'll bring all the wood flooring into there. So I had to take out <clears throat> the track that was actually on the bottom there. And then I took out the tape strips. Also got all the, the edges here. Um, got all the nails out, uh, so all the staples. So this is pretty well stapled, and I cut about a quarter of um, the deck screws in. So you start seeing I've got deck screws going in. But I, I got, I, I got a little bit stuck today. So um, I'll explain what's what's going on here. Um, so initially, when I took this all out. I knew that we had some soft spots and I think one time the water heater was leaking and I think that's what was leaking and it, some of them been leaking for a long time I believe so I believe it really what was leaking either the, the water heater was leaking or the bathroom uh, tub which is actually backs up to there and my and I did a I think it's sloping down I mean what you'll notice is it's a little bit darker there is, you know, typical. It's not that's not mold or anything like that. But you can start seeing um somewhat of the it's a little bit darker of a wood down there. So what happens is if it's leaking a slow leak, it uh drywall will weep. It will it'll actually it'll soak it up like a sponge. And so when I cut this initially, I cut it right down here, um, because it was it was actually hard but over here was a whole different story it's, I spent too much time so what, what I ended up doing was uh, I ended up taking it all out because um, I couldn't bite anything that was actually decent and you can tell what's going on was it actually was just peeled so this wasn't really at all um, it was just really bad you can tell um, at one time it was just not, uh, I guess it was soaked for, for a long time. And so I, I ended up fighting this thing for almost like an hour and a half thinking I could make it work and I just decided screw it. Um, I'll just take out the sheetrock altogether. And that means I have to go to another trip to Home Depot and get some more sheetrock. But I think that's the right way. And then um, when they build a home, <laughs> they had no way when they ran the wood, when they ran the, the, the two by fours out here, obviously what they do is they they put the sheetrock, they build the walls, and then they put the sheetrock on. And typically, you would want to bite something into here. So <clears throat> when you put the sheetrock in, you want to actually bite into this. So there's that will now bite into something, uh, so it doesn't move when it's all gets when it gets all tied in. So. Um, yeah, believe it or not, it took two days to get this all to this point. Um, I decided what I would do is get the bath bedroom done 
So I have two operational bedrooms. So when Michael and and uh, Lori get here in July, there's two be bedrooms. And then I try to get this done. My hope is somewhat this week, I can work a little bit on this. I just need to pace myself a little bit and get this done. And then hopefully I can get um, painting this weekend. If not, I, I will figure that out. Um, but I, and then I'll start tackling the bathroom. But for right now, um, that's what we're, I'm doing. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but it is. Um, so that's it, guys. And uh, at least, at least it's coming along a little bit slower. It, it is kind of interesting. I think I move a little bit faster when it's cooler. Um, it, you know, I, I can't afford to keep this thing at 72. I, I, it would break me uh, uh, financially. <laughs> the electric bill would be awful. awful. So uh, you guys have a great day. Um, hopefully I show a little bit more uh, what I've got. And maybe, I don't know. Well, it may take some time to get the shelving in, in here. We're going to go with 16 inch deep uh, shelving. I've got the rails, but I don't have any shelving. So you guys have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.